Hi, my name is Matt Zagarak. I am the scriptwriter for the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Mighty Quest is a new online game being made here in the Ubisoft Montreal studio, and we're on the Mighty Quest production floor today to give you a little bit of a tour and meet some of the people that make the game. So the first person that we're going to talk to is the game director, Arnaud Jamin. Now let's go hear from Arnaud. So uh, my role on the project is to define a vision for the team. Euh, mais de plus en plus, c'est d'écouter les idées de l'équipe et aussi les idées de la communauté qui émergent pour finalement enrichir la vision. Donc la force de Mighty Quest, c'est de mixer deux gameplays. Un gameplay d'attaque hack and slash, addictif, avec des sessions courtes, et euh, un gameplay de défense dans lequel le joueur va pouvoir utiliser sa créativité pour créer le château le plus meurtrier possible pour les joueurs qui vont entrer dans son château. Think about video games actually can be pretty complicated to make. So that's why we're really lucky that we have really talented production people like my man Julien Champagne, who's going to talk to us a little bit now about some of the planning and organization that goes into making a game like the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. So the biggest difference between a free-to-play and a retail game is the fact that a free-to-play production is never over. We have to keep feeding the game with new content to keep it alive. Just like any other game, it can take years for a free-to-play to find the perfect balance in its core game loop. The Mighty Quest is currently in its closed beta phase, but for the, the team working on the project, the game has already been live over a year. And this all began with the first test when we invited our friends and family to play the game. The way the game evolves is that we release packs on a regular basis. So a pack is a definite number of features that were carefully designed and scoped by the team. They go live once every month, so this gives us just enough time to make significant changes to the game without asking our players to wait for too long for the next update. One of my favorite parts of the game is just how funny it is. Now, the game's humor comes through in several ways. It comes through funny characters and dialogue, but also through a really funny visual art style. So now we're going to speak with Geneviève, who's going to tell us a little bit about what goes into actually making that good art. So uh, the game went through a few iterations. It used to be a much more dark fantasy. Now it's got a much more offbeat humor. So uh, how that transcribes is that we play a lot with the contrast. I would play with proportion, but especially contrast. For example, we've got uh, the Cyclops. He's huge, he's badass, he's going to kill you. At the same time, he looks super dorky and picks his nose. So that makes you love the characters. Right now we've got three themes, but we're really hard at work at making new themes uh, with different looks. So if you want to have a gothic theme, uh, you can have it. If you want to have a lava pit, uh, you'll have it eventually. So it really is a way for you to have your own identity. So here's the thing. Mighty Quest is a free-to-play online game. Well, you've got to keep the lights on in the studio as well as food on our table. So we're lucky to have really talented people like Maureen, who's going to talk to us in just a second, but all of the careful thought and consideration that goes into the game's monetization. Our monetization system is based on easing progression, it's on convenience, and it's on, very soon, going to be customization. So can you play our game without spending any money? Absolutely. You can go from the very beginning to the very end of the game without spending any hard currency. It was really cool to read recently that one of the first people to get his castle and his hero to max level, he announced that he did so without spending a dime. And what have we got for the most dedicated fans of Mighty Quest? Well, we have the Double O program. This is the original Opulentium program. It gets you early access to the beta. It gets you early access to the mage, which is our newest hero. And I have to tell you, he's very cool and fun to play. And you also get exclusive early access to some really unique and cool monsters. Now, we've really gone and saved the best for last. This last person is definitely the most talented, handsome, interesting, and funny person in the whole team. And it's going to be a real treat for you to hear him talk, I think. Yeah, it's going to be great. Well, I take my influences in my writing on Mighty Quest from all over the place. I'm a big fan of film, of books, of other video games, obviously. But there are some TV shows in particular that are a huge influence on the writing that I do. And it's TV shows that combine uh, fantasy with crazy situations and clever dialogue. One interesting thing about the character archetypes and their personality is that all of the characters in the game, all the main heroes, are all based on modern day archetypes. So in the case of the knight Sir Painhammer, well, when I was writing the character, I, thought, I like to think of him as an NFL quarterback, sort of like this razzle-dazzle kind of football player. Uh -huh. yeah. Writing a game that's online multiplayer, like Mighty Quest, is obviously a very different prospect than writing a more traditional video game with acts, characters, narrative arcs, etc., which is not something we really have in our game. 
What we do have in our game is a story that is built by players. The story of the game is really the story of players looting each other's castles, defending their loot against others, competing, bragging, showing off, and that, I think, is the real story of the game. Thanks very much for watching the video. That's all we have for you today, but stay tuned. There'll be plenty more to come really soon. So thanks a lot. Take care.